Hi everyone, welcome back to another video. Don't forget to subscribe and like this video. In this video, we'll show you the different login levels available for the ZLT router, including a preview of the super admin features. User level 3 is the lowest user level account with basic features. Users at this level can change the Wi-Fi name and LAN IP, which are suitable for normal users. User level 2 is a regular administrator account. It has more settings than the basic user level, including changing user login passwords, modifying the Wi-Fi name and power settings, port forwarding locking PCI and band settings, changing the APN, TR069 remote management. These accounts are also known as operator logins and offer much more than basic user accounts. User Level 1 is the Super Admin, also known as Developer Accounts, used for the maintenance of these devices. These accounts have access to every function and setting, which are hidden from Basic and Administrator users. Super Admin accounts come with the SIM management, virtual local area network configuration, guest Wi-Fi setup, TR369 support, captive portal configuration, multiple IP pass-through settings, SNMP monitoring, voice over IP configuration, vault settings, temperature control options, calibration information access, root app bindings, Wi-Fi blacklist and whitelist management, NFC support, locking of public LAN mobile network PLMN, IPTV setup, remote login capabilities, SMS management, USSD support, UPnP configuration and speed limit settings. These devices come carrier locked by default with PLMN locking enabled. Two use a different carrier PLMN need to turn off. There is also an industry settings menu and it has an option called serial settings. This is used for UART debugging and is turned off by default. When UART is turned off in the software, connecting UART will display garbage data. Auto-update will only work when DoTR069 is enabled. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and like the video. See you in the next one.